Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to customize and access various options when it comes to markers in DaVinci Resolve. This gives you a lot of flexibility to really make sure that you can find everything easily and organize your timelines. If you have markers on your timeline or on your clip, which you can easily do by pressing M on your keyboard. All you have to do is double click on that marker and you'll get options. You can change the color, name it, add notes, keywords, and if you wanted to, you could actually change the time and duration manually here. For keywords, all you have to do is put a comma to lock in that keyword and then you can continue doing more. Whenever you've made your changes, go ahead and press done. And now you can see you have this whole section now instead of just the blue marker. This actually helps a lot. And then you can manually change the duration of the marker here. Now you can't change the duration of a marker when you first have the default blue marker, you have to go ahead and manually choose a duration first, press done, even if you just add one more frame, and then now you get the option to be able to open up or lower the duration. Now you get the same type of options when you double click a marker here on your clips. And if you have linked clips, it'll add markers to as many tracks as are linked on that clip. So if you have two audios or two videos linked, whenever you put a marker on a clip, every clip that's selected is gonna get a marker at that point in the timeline. So there you guys have it. That's how simple it is to use markers in DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. We also have a DaVinci Resolve playlist on this channel with a lot more tutorials. So please make sure to check that out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.